Stav, Abby and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show. Hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to the podcast today. Uh, Abby, as you're going to hear at the start of the podcast, I mean, Abby's with us now. Because this is, this is recorded after the show. Mm. But at the start of the actual radio show, you weren't, you weren't around. No. Because I was working late because I'm a singer. <laughs> She's a singer. <laughs> What's her name? I keep spacing on her name. Sabrina. That's the one. Carpenter. She was the support for Swifty. And I can't get... I, she only says it in the lyrics once, and mm. I just can't get it out of my head. What does she say? I'm up late because I'm a singer. I'm working late because uh, I'm a singer. It doesn't actually does make say, much I'm, sense in the song either. Well, no. Does she say I'm working late or she yeah. says I'm up late? I'm working late because I'm a singer. I'm working late because mm. I'm a singer. Espresso yes. is the song. Mm. Uh, you haven't heard the song? It's a good song. I don't think I have. Mm. But I don't know. You don't know what you... See, this is a whole thing. I sent that as a text, and I don't think anyone knows the song. <laughs> no, I, I, did you I not know the it. song? I would have got it. Oh. I didn't get it. I didn't. I didn't. I, but but then again, there was a lot of text messages I didn't get last night. <laughs> <laughs> and Pete, there were a lot of text messages. There were a lot. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Why not, am I that girl? Why am I us. that girl that like I'm out? Why do I have to include everyone that's not there? Well, you're just having a good time. Yes, but just have a good time in the present, Abby. You don't need to get everyone aware that you're having a good time. Woohoo, girl. Anyway. Tell you what, I'm you know who owes this for the long lunches more than anybody else? Abby's therapist. Mm. Mm. He's like, she was just getting good. She was about to leave me. <laughs> now, Timmy, Timmy, you're going to college. Uh, uh, that's all right. Have you heard from any of the other ladies? Where, where, what are they up that's to? That's a good point. One's running? Confirmed running? She oh is God, not. She's a, nah, she's a machine. Did she not drink much? Did oh, Melissa's running. What are the other girls doing? I think a lot of them will be asleep. That's true. They're probably all still in bed. Yeah, I not. think a lot of them would get up early, they say, because they're used to it with the kids. Mm. But they say that, and I mean, the star has very great curtains oh, that you right. could pretend. You it's... wake up in a hotel room, you've got no idea what the time is. Yeah, that's yeah. The best time. It's great, isn't it? And then you open the curtains and it's midday and you're like, oh, that took that too far. <laughs> 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 that's a, that's uh, a mistake. Mm. All right. Well, uh, the wrap up of the Mother's Day long lunch is throughout today's show. Uh, enjoy the journey. Here we go. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Abby's long lunch. How did it go yesterday, Abs? Mm. Silence is deafening, as they say. Mm. We have no idea. Mm. Where she is. No. Uh, Abby obviously took away some mothers for a Mother's Day long lunch mm-hmm. yesterday to mm-hmm. the star on the Gold Coast. Mm-hmm. It's not a bender. This is a legitimate B105 Mother's Day long lunch. And since about four o'clock yesterday afternoon, they have been incommunicado and unreachable. Now, when we say they, mm. obviously the mums she took with her. Yes. But that also includes Ashley... Uh, May producer. Smith. Oh, oh, I, I, oh. I believe her middle name's May. I uh, could be wrong. <laughs> and um, Angry Angela, mm. our HR representative who was meant to be there to keep the girls on track. Yes. Um, we, we have no idea where they are. No. Nah. I mean, we have it. Wow. They're on the Gold Coast. But are they? Oh, that's a good point. The border's <laughs> not far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you reckon they made their way down to Twin Towns? <laughs> Let's go. See ya. Let's go find the retirees. See the Queen <laughs> tribute show. <laughs> <laughs> now look, and I get it. The uh, star is an amazing place. Oh look, even actually, because when she first arrived, she um, sent us all a video of the hotel room, and that's where I knew that trouble was going to start. Actually, it was massive. It wasn't it amazing. It looked fantastic. Huge balcony. Huge balcony and very plush. And I was yeah. like, when you were in that environment, it rubs off on you. Totally. And you're going to head straight to the minibar and see what's in there. That hotel room was so big and so luxurious. I don't. I reckon the minibar would have just been a bar. Yeah. Like, there would have been nothing mini about that. No, true. That was... That it, was had a, it had a mini bartender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it was... It was it must have been a high rollers room or something, something like, like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. It was it wild. Mm. Uh, they went to Kiyomi for lunch, mm-hmm. and then they did kick on after that. Um, we are going to try and actually call Abby now mm. and see if we get an answer. Hello? <laughs> mm-hmm. Do you reckon she's looking at it now? 
now, contemplating do I answer because mm. she's realising. Mm. Yeah, she's she's not alive. <laughs> hey, it's Abby here. Please leave a message and I will get back to you soon. Thank you. Oh, Please she's leave a detailed message after the message. time. Oh, when she When you have has. finished yeah. recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. I know you don't check these, so in my will, I bequeath everything to you. <laughs> <laughs> this one I reckon should check. <laughs> uh, also, by the way, I'm not sure if you remember sending us a video last night. Hmm. You should be on the radio right now. Well, you are technically on the radio, but you should be here with us. Hmm. Last night you sent us a video, and I'm going to play you a little bit of audio from that that video. Oh, it's going in my palm! It's going in my palm! <laughs> we need you on the air with us so you what can explain what you were up is to. Going on. Okay, so uh, <laughs> what did you do last night? Me? Yeah. Uh, um, went home to my family yeah. after I worked. Yeah, I cooked dinner. Did you? Yeah, cleaned the house. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do, Abby? <laughs> Please um, call us back, and then if you could go to the microphone mm. in uh, your hotel room, that'd be And great. actually, even, I mean, this is a wild stab in the dark, but it's worth a shot. 131060, if you know where Abby is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see her, did you see <laughs> did her last see her night? On the Gold Coast. We make it down there. We know that. We mm. can hear her sometimes. So mm. if you know where Abby's whereabouts are, please Hol- give us a call. Holoratus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mm. Well, uh, we will continue on with the show. We'll struggle on. And we'll see uh, how we go. At what point do we put out a missing persons thing? Like, how long do you have to wait? See, that's the thing that they say, you know, it's supposed to be like 48 hours before you can. You, there's no time limit. You can do it whenever you want. Okay. Yeah. So, like, Get Friday on next week? <laughs> <laughs> the B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Abby's Long Lunch. Okay, okay, okay. We start on air at what time? Six on the dot. Six on the dot, oh, baby. Um, I am so sorry, guys. It's just with the time difference here. I was like, ugh. You're not even across the border. And yeah. it's not even daylight savings. Yeah. So just, um, sorry. <laughs> so Abby's long lunch was yesterday at the start. Yes. As she was explaining it. It was for Mother's Day. It's not a bender. This is a legitimate B105 Mother's Day long lunch. <laughs> and you've turned up at 6.42. We have been scrambling in here. <clears throat> We've had to tear I'm... apart the whole show. Yeah. <clears throat> um. <laughs> and not just, just you gonna, missing, yeah. mind you. No. Yes. While, yeah. while the dads mm-hmm. are on a rant. Oh, okay. As a dad. As mm-hmm. a dad. Our yeah. executive producer. <laughs> is just getting room service at the moment. Nowhere to be seen. She's, no, We're she's here. sitting here on our own, yeah. wondering oh. what are we going to, like, what are we meant to do? Well, I have to say, it wasn't a big night. It honestly it wasn't a big day. Say, sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did say sorry. No, I'm really sorry. We uh, we have been up. We're just a little bit later. That was all. It was a really, really nice lunch. I have to say, the star is phenomenal. Mm. We just had, we had a really good time. It just like filled our cup, you know? Filled our soul. Multiple we times, just... by the sound of things. <laughs> yeah. And fill my cup again, please. This one's getting a little bit empty. Can you please fill my cup? <laughs> by the sounds. I mean, we can obviously see you on webcam, and the uh, table in front of you is a debauchery and a mess, a shambles. There's. I do not know who decided to open that champagne. Mm. We it was not... Was it me? It was, of course it would have been you. I think it was producer Ash. It was not a good decision. Anyway... Anyways. What's, what's done is done. It's done. You know, you just got to move forward. And it was a, a brilliant long lunch. The most amazing group of girls. We just all were like, oh my God, we love each other. We all get along really well. I mean, it's we just annoying that I'm not with them now for breakfast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have a question because we could probably only really discuss this right now, this mm. time of the morning. Mm. Okay. Because uh, Alpha Buck Schools is coming up later. <laughs> so can you mm. just tell us all uh, what happened here? Oh, it's going in my palm. It's going in my palm. <laughs> 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 that was from a video that you sent us last night. Yeah, what's uh, what's what's that about? Kind of it's what, what you think. Left it's out. definitely what you think. No, <laughs> I've got a bidet in my room, um, and I just wanted to give a, a bit of, a tour. A tour um, of so the, the girls, bidet. Right. Yeah, so the girls came back, and what I thought would happen is I would let them go to the toilet in private, but everyone was like, "Nah, let's just keep the door open." And girls love that, it. don't they? They I love do. being together in the toilet. We do. And it was just, the bidet is pretty, it's got all these different settings. So Mm. that was obviously the. Right. Look, everyone that uses them raves about them. 
Yeah. It's, I love it. I've even got a dryer in there. You can um, you can attach one to your home toilet. Easy peasy. No, not mm-hmm. like this one. This one's brilliant. It's got all these different settings. And Just producer Ash tried it. Toilet. Did you like it? <laughs> I... Do you want me to say if I like the bidet? Yeah. Um, yeah. Different. Very warm. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, you want warm water. You wouldn't, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't use cold water. Yeah. yeah, it was weird. Weird, weird. No, the seat's warm. It's heated. Oh, and it's cold water? No, no, it's not cold water. It's warm water, water too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. But everything's just heated. Yeah. yeah. Everything's anyway, heated. let's start the show. <laughs> At quarter to seven. Let's up. Let up. <laughs> just state for the record, because we get... Yeah. Stav and I will need this at mm. some point in our lives. Abby has turned up at 6.45, Friday the 10th of May. <laughs> she was 45 minutes late. Mm. Um, put it in the bank. <laughs> put it in the bank, baby. There is no What are you guys getting bonus points or something? Invest- yeah, 45 of them, in fact. <laughs> and a Thanks for of, answering our phone. I'm sorry I FaceTime, FaceTime you guys. That's all right. That's okay. That was a bit... I just want to that let was, you know mm. all of Suncorp Stadium also saw you because I was in the middle, <laughs> middle of the field. For the but Dolphins. the Dolphins won? Yeah, they did. They had a blind. That was a good game. Oh, the B105 <laughs> Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Abby's Long Lunch. Yeah, the long lunch at the Star. I have to say a big shout out to the Star. It's the most amazing venue. So if you're looking to get away with the family or if you're looking to get away for a girls weekend, it definitely is the place. It is unbelievable. And as well, don't forget, they're coming to Brisbane. Yes, yeah, that's correct. True. I'm looking so, at it right now. I know. I actually said to him, I'm like, can we do this all again in Brisbane? <laughs> what did they say? Did they give you the thumbs up? Or they, the they, thumbs said, sure, they gave we'll me the you thumbs up. there too. <laughs> no, I'll be honest. They gave us the thumbs up at the great. start of the night, yeah. at the end of the night. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, renowned for its traditional Japanese cooking, Kiyomi, it takes fine dining from the ordinary to extraordinary, the star.com.au. Um, we are going to hear some of the audio. Mm. Yeah. Before we get to that, because yes. you sent us a lot of videos throughout the day. I'm so sorry. I was one of those woohoo girls of wanting to <laughs> FaceTime you and send messages because we're having so much fun we wanted to share. Mm. Um, yeah. What was the, were, were they checking your ID at some point? Oh, that's cute. Was that was that a clip that you said? That there was the guy checking ID? What guy? <laughs> was there a guy? Yeah, I, th- oh. I don't know. I just saw you. I, I couldn't. It didn't... I, did get, I did get in trouble um, from the security at the casino, but it wasn't for what you want. It's just you've got to remember you can't take photos. So no. we, we, oh, we maybe can't record. that's why you were getting yeah. in trouble. Mm. So we can't record stuff. While you were in the casino for legal reasons, mm. and yeah, I, right. some little woohoo girl, kept forgetting. Right. So they had to gently remind us that you sure. can't do that. Sure. <laughs> all right. Uh, but no, I, all, I, all I really want, like, I used to do long lunches, and we didn't do them for a while, probably because of this. But um, I just wanted to organise something for a group of mums to go away because mm. they're so busy organising things for everyone else that they just forget about themselves. Uh, let's meet the ladies you took with you. <laughs> Hey, it's Caitlin. I'm just looking forward to getting away and having a mum's night away without the kids and the hubby. Hi, I'm Beck, and I'm really looking forward to just spending a great time out, uh, meeting new people, having a dance, and just having lots of fun getting away from reality for the weekend. Hey, I'm Jess, and I'm definitely looking forward to long drinks at long lunch. Hey, I'm Jenny, and I'm just looking forward to having some wonderful time with my beautiful daughter and spending a great time having a few drinks with this group of amazing girls. Hey, I'm Ash, and I'm looking forward to ditching my husband and my kids and having a good time. (laughs) I'm Melissa. I am so excited today. Sounds like I'm so excited to go for a solo beach run tomorrow morning. I do not care about the hangover as long as it's a solo run. Will it happen? Don't know. We'll see. Hey, my name is Michaela, and I'm excited to get over with my best friend to leave the injured hubby and the three kids. (laughs) What's his injury? Uh, He shattered his heel in a work accident three weeks ago and had to have surgery, so bye. (laughs) Wow. She really didn't care. Wow. I really need to find out if she did go for a run as well. She was very adamant. You know, one of those girls that kept telling you that she's packed her sneakers and she's going to go for a run. I was like, you "You do it, girl. You do it. Yeah, I know. I didn't pack my sneakers this time. Uh, That's the problem, eh? Yeah. Jenny, who wanted to to just hang out with her daughter, (laughs) she got very excited about the entertainment. Right. We have audio of the <laughs> entertainment. Roll the tape. Let's get down, let's get down Look, 
I, I was feeling quite confident at the lunch. I thought everyone was doing really well, really sensible, well behaved. Um, since the strippers, I think the night is escalating. It's getting a little bit out of control. I'm going to do my best to try and simmer it back down, but I honestly feel like I haven't served my purpose tonight. I really need to, I need an angry angel. That's the HR representative. That's the so first what we've happened? heard of her. Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah, poor Ange. Man, she was stressed. She was really stressed. I could, every time I looked over at her, she was giving me, like, drink. And I was like, you want me to drink more? And she's like, water? <laughs> and I was like, got it, hun. Cute. I got it, sweetheart. It's mm. in the bag. So what happened is we went upstairs and we had a little private area at the star on mm. level 19. Mm. And there was a group of guys who were in business suits having a business meeting next to us. Yeah. And no one really noticed them. They're from uh, Pink Flamingos. And then as they were walking out, they stripped. Oh. <laughs> Hmm. What, <laughs> how far do they go? Do they? Is it like a hundred and ten birthday or no? No, because I think <laughs> no, <laughs> it's just topless. What are we, oh, it was, okay, it right, was just yeah. topless. Yeah, right. yeah, they weren't even strippers. They were actually businessmen. <laughs> 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 they just saw their opportunity yeah. and they went for it, as you would. No, I have to say thank you so much to the guys from Pink Flamingo. Uh, okay, so when we come back, yeah, um, we have uh, Angry Ange, some more of Angry Ange, uh, getting things under wraps. This was a this turning quite... point. I haven't spoken to Ange after this. So at, at this at this point, though, you'd have to say without uh, a doubt, she's fired. Well, at that she's point... in HR. She's not fired. Oh, I've, I've done, you yeah. guys are the ones that stitched her up and said she had to look after us. Yeah, that but, yeah, is... no, we didn't. No, but, we didn't but, do that. But Abby, HR doesn't stand for hungover and rotten. <laughs> <laughs> the B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby, and Matt. Abby's Long Lunch. She's live long from lunch. the star this morning. Not a bender. It was just a long lunch for a group of mums that need to get away before Mother's Day. And we did. We talked a lot about the kids. Yeah. Is that why you're on the floor right now? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see me, Stav. So thank you very much. Mm. Sorry. It's not, not the prettiest angle. Um, the laptop needs to be charged up. So. Right. I... Yeah, so I'm on the what? floor. For our webcam, for the webcam, there's no no battery in the laptop. So, so I need to plug it into the wall. Plugged stuff. in over there. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, right. Renowned for its traditional Japanese cooking, Kiyomi. It takes fun, darling, from the ordinary to the extraordinary. That's where you had lunch yesterday, the star.com.au. is amazing. And you got to remember the star, obviously, down the Gold Coast, but the star is going to be opening in Brisbane with that restaurant as well. Right. Mm. Uh, are they going to let you in, you reckon? <laughs> I think so. Um, I hope so. <laughs> so we, we've been hearing we've been hearing the tales of the day throughout the morning. And what's interesting about it is it's it's quite a evolving story because as the morning has gone on, uh, you've filled in some of your black spots that you've had. That's not a black spot. Drink responsibly. I was just exhausted by the end of the day. I hadn't really yeah. slept. That's all it is, and I just can't believe <sighs> I sent a text to Tommy Little. So when that dawned on you this morning, uh, we've obviously everything that happens off the air, we can capture that audio. Mm. This is, this is your, don't guys, this don't is do this. Past you, past <gasps> you, Matthew Acton, into Matthew. current your ear and say, Matthew Acton, kiss don't. what you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I sent a text to Tommy Little. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No! Oh my god. Did he write back? No, and I just deleted it. Oh my god, Abby. Quite composed there. <laughs> not a, it's not a big deal. I just. Uh, isn't yeah. that the, that's the worst in the world, really, isn't it? What sort of person am I? Oh, we at that stage, are we? <laughs> <laughs> I just need to change who I am. What sort of a person oh, am no, I? Oh, no, she's Monday she's going to come oh, in with a green so... shake and tell us that we need to join her on her <laughs> fitness journey. We thing. do. We're getting a PT <laughs> on Mondays and we're all going to work out. It's just a 30-day challenge and we're just going to be new us. Oh, I hate when the demons set in. We start tomorrow because I've got a bacon and an egg roll. Okay, so... <laughs> Um, the best part of this... I don't everyone, know what I sent. Everyone listening is going, what did she say in the text message? <laughs> I just deleted it because I didn't. I, I deleted it. And then Ash, our beautiful producer, said I sent a video to him. Yeah, there was no text. What? Just vision. Um, mm. 
because he's in Brisbane. What was it about? Mm. And you, what were you trying to do? Get him there? I, think, to... I was trying to get him there. No, I, I think <laughs> I was trying to set him up with someone. I don't know if he's single or not. Right. Okay. <laughs> and I was trying to set him up with someone. I, we can only play eighteen. You? <laughs> Please don't play it. We can Please only play eighteen play seconds of it. Don't. We had to heavily edit it. I'm, I'm not sure you have any. Sway Say because yeah. I, I would if I was in the studio. <laughs> oh no, my, sure. my finger slipped. Oh. Okay, so um, <laughs> Jess is really upset because she yeah, feels yeah. like she's such a nerd. I am. I'm a nerd. Yeah, I have so a gamble. Give me my gammon little coin. Guys, let's get a um, corporate. Coach. She's working late. <laughs> she's a <laughs> thinner. <laughs> Is that why I've got it in my head? What? (laughs) She's working late. Oh my god. She's a singer. So you were trying to hook up our promotions girl with (sighs) Worst wing woman ever sending videos like that. Well, you don't know, it might have worked. He didn't write back. Mm. Well, have you heard from Jess this morning? Ah. No. Mm, mm. Might be too little, too early. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's it. That's it. What? That's it. We're done. Mm. No more long lunches. <laughs> well, that's that's disappointing for the mums that enjoyed yeah. themselves. Yeah. And for us, this is I'm having heaps of fun. Oh, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought I would have grown up of this stuff, this behaviour. Mm. So did we. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I mean, the thought way I you were banging on about it before you left, we definitely thought you would have bet the no, you've regressed. <gasps> have you spoken to your husband this morning? Oh, God, should we get him on? No. No. You haven't spoken uh, to him? Like, no him and on? both. No and no. Okay, yeah, fair enough. He's probably with Tommy. <laughs> no, he's not with Tommy. I asked him to come over <laughs> <laughs> at 10.30. <laughs> Tommy or your husband? No, he's Scott. Scotty. Oh, okay. So just... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> we have reached out to Tommy. Yes, we have. We, he, and am I fired? Well, he doesn't have that sort of power. We just want to chat to him, can't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no response. No response yet. We've heard he might be on a run, so he might finish his circuit. Yeah, running oh, as far away from you as he can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's better I'm to get sorry, this all out guys. of the open now. I'm like. sorry. Yeah, I know. Why? You don't this feels like us. a group therapy session. I just don't want to be that girl. Mm. We, we kind of do. <laughs> I'm not even a hot mess. I'm just a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez Louise. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. I am huge on slow fashion. I've always loved buying stuff from op shops and secondhand just because I could never afford it. But also I feel like I, I don't know, I love being able to give my clothes to a new home and I love buying secondhand. So I'm very, very excited. And Maddie, I'm so excited that I'm doing this with your wife. We are going to have a stool. Our friend of ours does um, Love Me Again Markets and mm. we are going to, <laughs> don't say that. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. I mean, I can, the, you know, the, I can see you right over the screen. I can see yeah, your disappointment yeah, yeah. face from here. I'm not disappointed. <laughs> No, you're just like, oh, isn't it surprising? She's got so many clothes to sell. Correct. <laughs> and I was really excited because I have Jimmy Choo's. Ooh, now, la, la. they are la dee da mm. shoes that I didn't buy because my friend gave them to me. She's like, I'm not going to wear them anymore. Would you like them? Now, they're stilettos. They're amazing. But you know that I'm pretty heavy on my feet. Yeah. I'm just... I- Take a breath, Stav, before you agree with that. (laughs) But I just, I don't have delicate feet. I'm very heavy on my feet. I'm flat-footed and I've worn these shoes a couple of times and I just can't do it. They're they're for delicate feet, not for me. Mm. So I was really excited that I get to sell them and I don't really know how much they were, but I didn't ask my friend who gave it to me because I was like, they're mine. But now (laughs) she is going to get a stool next to me. So I'm like, great. Ah, <laughs> so you're in a pickle because you were just going to sell them and never speak of it again. Well, I heard that for you to be successful in these markets, you need to put up on social some of the items that you're selling yeah. and really promote yourself and say, yeah. come on down. Your and big I was like, that's, item. Hmm. Yeah. And I was like, that's fine. I can just make sure that she doesn't see this post on socials because you know you can do that. And I'll just put those up to, to sell. Won't be a big deal. <laughs> now she's hitting a stool. But it, they are mine to sell. Oh, or do I need to give them back to her to sell? Mm, no. See, I reckon you can sell them because they've they've been given, given to, to you. you. There's this, yeah. and once they, if someone gifts you something, 
I mean, yours. Th- this is what, what we're talking about here, though. I mean, legally, yes, you are completely fine and within your own rights. It's the moral <laughs> and ethical situation Yes, here. it's that, yeah. Mm. I mean, I guess it's like a diamond ring, isn't it? If you've got an engagement ring and that broke up, mm. are you allowed to resell it? Or yeah. do you have to give it back? Mm. Mm. Depends what he did to me. And have you... And why we <laughs> broke up, to be honest with ha- you. Have you, when in your dealings with your friend, have you been like, love the shoes, wear them all the time, they're actually my favourite shoes now, I'm wearing them uh, now? No, I think I've sent a photo where I wore them to a wedding, but okay. they didn't last the whole wedding because they're very uncomfortable. Mm. No, no, actually, come and buy them. They're not that uncomfortable. <laughs> 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 they're uncomfortable for you. <laughs> They're like, yes, yeah. exactly. Mm. Me with my big bunion feet have, have you, just don't do well. You could have like a, have you, is this like a close friend where you've swapped, you, you've given her clothes? Like she could be no. selling your stuff. Okay. All right. No. I'm trying to help you out. It's, no, it's my no. friend Lou and she's got uh, all designer stuff and mm. she's gorgeous. So no, I, I get my hand-me-downs. I don't, haven't given her any she of my want any of your, uh, outfits. No, right. no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I have no issue with it, mm. but. It's interesting because you got very angry at me, the pair of you, when I used a dinner voucher that you That's gave true. me for my birthday, but I no, took friends No, a Bunnings with voucher. Me. Oh, yes. You did it twice. You did do it twice. A Bunnings, and you bought your mum something from Bunnings. A spark plug. A- and then the dinner voucher you took with friends, and it was supposed to be just for you. I love that she's getting angry at you for doing what she's actually that, doing th- right now. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going. <laughs> that's a are, good point. Are they, are isn't they the it? same or mm. are they not? Are they are they different? Hmm. Thirteen ten sixty. Let's <laughs> find out. Let's do a poll of the people. Okay. Right. If the people decide it's okay, mm-hmm. sell them guilt free. If the people say it's not okay, sell them with guilt. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've already got a few text messages of people saying I'll buy them. <laughs> All right, stand by. All right, Janelle and Annalie, what do you think? Can she sell the Jimmy Choo's that were a gift? Yeah, good morning. Ah, uh, sure enough, you can definitely sell it. But um, Abby said she's beside her, like her stall is beside her. Yeah. I mean, there's three, two ways I think to compensate that. Um, she can probably pay a percentage of that uh, sold item amount. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, or normally those. Um, markets you have to pay for um a fee if this yeah the the amount can cover that then probably it's best to treat her so you keep friends mm. you probably get a other stiletto next time ah, oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. oh good point yes because she gave me a bag as well yeah but you're planning to sell <laughs> no 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 i like that bag i'm keeping ah. it <laughs> right yeah so okay if you give her a percentage mm. yeah um not a bad idea i mean i don't really because i'm not a, a shoe guy how much are these things how much are they brand new i don't know that was my question mm. i was going to say a hundred dollars to resell but i don't know how much they are let mm. me google uh, okay uh james what do you reckon buddy yeah, look, I reckon she can sell them. I mean, the friend gave them to her, and the friend had the option to sell them, and she mm, didn't. That's true. That's true. So, yeah. No, yeah. I, I think she can. I think the friend is consciously uncoupled from the shoe. <laughs> Great way of explaining <laughs> it, <James. laughs> I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we could take calls all morning. Yeah. Or we could yeah. just speak to your friend Lou, who's there now. <laughs> Good morning. Abby. <laughs> How are hey, you Lou, guys? Lou. Lou. <laughs> Before, I'm glad you made it to work, by the way. <laughs> Before we, we find out your thoughts on this, Lou, let's just ask that question. Mm. Abby, how much are you selling them for? I was going to sell them for $100. I don't know how much they cost. Lou, how much did they cost? Uh, well, I think I think it's a bargain at 100 bucks. Mm. And I'm thinking, I'm still trying to work out what my commission might be on my <laughs> oh. What are they to buy <laughs> brand new, a pair of? I'm sort of, I'm, I'm sort of like now thinking back in retrospect about mm. how all this transpired yeah. and the fact that Abby texts me and she goes, hey, I'm getting this stall, I'm going to sell my stuff, do you want to sell some stuff? And then I get FOMO, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I go, no, I want a stall. And then now I know she's gone, holy bugger. Mm. Yes! Now I've got to like, hide my shoes. Yeah. Yeah, how much were they new? So I think, and then I said, so I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be really fun. She said, Esther's coming. And then I said, can we get stalls together and be like this really fun thing? And she never confirmed if the stalls were going to be together. So right. now I know. I'm probably stuck in some corner. Yeah. This is classic. You're you know what? It's, yeah, classic, my friend. You can't get a word in. No, no, no. Hey, that, um, what this is is... Yeah. The price she told her husband she paid for the shoes versus the price they actually were. Mm. Lou, how much were the shoes new? Uh, I think they were like... About $1,100. And I only wore them once. 
And I do believe <laughs> that 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 space. Said, possession <laughs> is hey, high hey, law. Hey, hey, Lou, hey, Lou, hey, Lou, 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 does your yeah. husband have any designer stuff he's not using that he wants to <laughs> <laughs> give away to a charity? <laughs> wow. He might sell them to you, Stav. Yeah. No, do you know what? In all honesty, in all honesty, I will promote them and I will sell them because I know how gorgeous you are and how gifting you are and I know that there is a bag that is still coming my way because you did promise me a bag. <laughs> so I am... You never let me forget that bag. <laughs> she promised me a bag. An incident happened in New York and she said she didn't want it. So it was a designer bag because unfortunately Lou got mugged and she thought the bag had a bad vibe to it. So she was going to give it to me. But now she's decided she'll just say... I tell you what though, it. the guy that mugged her, is he, he, that was the job, the last job he had before retirement by the sounds mm. of it. <laughs> Oh my God, that's a whole nother story. And but also... You know, the other bag, Abby, if you sell the bag I bought you, the Louis, yeah. the very, very... Authentic Louis I bought you in that back street in Hong Kong. Yeah. If you sell that for like a hundred bucks, then whoa. Whoa. That's a profit right there, girl. Okay, whoa. well, a hundred, so are you a wow. hundred bucks? I'll are buy them off you for a hundred. Yeah. No, I need to inc- I need to increase that fee now, I think. hundred But we, we will share it. We will share the costs. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm... Speechless. I mean, the one thing I've learned here is mug people for their shoes. Yeah. <laughs> no. bags. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Hey, it's producer Ash here and we're taking a look back at the week that was with Stav, Abby and Matt. Well, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Look who is back. Yeah, I just I just wanted to be prepared for my um, mother's lunch. Yeah, so I stint in rehab just to clear everything out. <laughs> it helps. A little bit of a nip and a tuck of the uterus before I uh, go away. <laughs> Why did you need to tighten that up for? <laughs> what do you got what planned? Sort of a weekend. I don't know. I don't this? know. That didn't come out right, did tight. it? Abby realised that men think differently about how time passes and decided to quiz the boys. Please tell me this is not personal stuff that we're meant to know about people. Do you want me to stop no, those ones? <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's just go with general knowledge then. What year did our amazing producer Ash start? Uh, 2021. Yeah, he's right. Because it was it was COVID. She had to go into quarantine. quarantine. You guys are correct. What year did Trump get elected? Uh, 2016. I'll go with that. I'd have no to know. Do you hate this? Yeah, I can't know. <sighs> because I started work here in 2017. Oh no, hang on. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> what year did we do the goon raft together? I'm gonna go. Tw- when did you start again? <laughs> You should remember, it's the greatest day of your life. That it was. was just five minutes ago. When did you start? 2017. I'm going to go 2019 then. 2018. Well done, Matthew. Should I pick you back my answer? <laughs> and last one that Maddie will always get. Like, you have to get this one. What year did our hearts break when the Cowboys won against Brisbane in the grand final? 2015. Yeah! Ben Hunt dropped that ball. And oh, I've never, never forgiven, forgiven him. him. <laughs> Speaking of time, Maddie told us about when he went behind bars. I didn't go into proper jail. <laughs> just a pretend one? Uh, I, no, I, when it, I was in the lockup. The yeah, but out. isn't that so, the lockup? The lockup still like do, what would I mean? Sorry, can I? Oh, does it have like it, bars? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. So, oh, I, so that, did you get a photo? When I yeah, when did I was you? younger, I uh, had a bit of a night out mm. and uh, got put in a paddy wagon. I thought they were giving me a lift home. Was it public urination? Urination? No, no, that was when I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so what was this one? Keep digging. I guess that. Okay. No. Was this the murder one? <laughs> no, no. The, you have got, got off on that one. Yeah. Teenage right. one was yeah. doing a wee wee. The cops, fraud. Cops chucked me in the back of the car. Yeah. My friend got a bit over the top, so they let me out and said, you go home to your parents right now, and they took him back to the cop station. Mm. I was not a good boy when I was younger. And then one when I was 19, 20, um, was out on a night, being, you know, having a bit of frivolity with my friends, mm. put in the pack of a paddy wagon, they took me to the locker. Mm. And um, it looks like proper jail, everything's metal. Mm. You get flatmates when you're in there. Toilet? Uh, yes. Like a little drop hole? No, open, so you everyone can see you. Oh, I couldn't go. I've been in a paddy wagon, but that was just like, for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Stav revealed some more of his personal interests. It's a trick Sorry, question, Gunny. this one. No. Australia. Antar- Antarctica. Oh, yeah, there's no water there. 
Who wrote that question and are we sure that they're correct? I know that that is true because I uh, answered that question somewhere um, last week for some reason. What? I think I was on a BuzzFree general knowledge quiz and if you get 80%, you're like a genius. God, you're living, bro. Aren't I? <laughs> Shut up, Kelly. <laughs> People often ask, what do you lot get up to after 9 o'clock? Stabs to answer that question. Mm-hmm. And we're all learning something today. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Abby's long lunch. And with her Mother's Day long lunch on the Gold Coast, Abby had one thing on her mind. She has a podcast out. It's called Wine Time. Mm. W H I N E. Um, <laughs> and wind down. Sorry, not wine time. What am I thinking? <laughs> what are long lunch. Is what you're is thinking? Going I think on. you're thinking you're hitting the wine Sorry. in exactly an hour. Wind down is the name of the podcast. Give me wine, my I got a newfound love of tequila. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Sipping it? Yes. That's the way to do it. I didn't realise mm-hmm. tequila can be classy. Very nice when you do it like Thank that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. That's why they put the hat. You pour it straight into the little red hat, don't you? And sip it out of that. Are you opening, Are you opening a opening package up? live on air? No. You're doing an unboxing on the radio? Doesn't what did you get? Work. I could have waited for the song. You absolutely could. <laughs> <laughs> but we're done. Well, she's back. Sorry. <laughs> I thought we were done. No, you meant you were done. <laughs> That's what you said. Anyway. Oh, I had it up. Ah, ah, this has got yeah. boring. Ah. And ah. let's see what else is going on here. For more fun times and behind-the-scenes action, head to the Listener app. Until next time, that's a wrap with Stav, Abby and Matt. The B105 Breakfast Show with Stav, Abby and Matt. Alpha Bucks on Monday. It'll be the 13th of May. Uh, it is worth... $20,000 every single time we play. Here are some answers. Ooh, great dramatic pause. 7 a.m., your letter is W, and some of your answers are Whisk, Winona Ryder, and Whiz Fizz. And 8 a.m., it's F, and some of your answers are Fergie, Flamingo, and French. Righto, guys. We'll see you Monday. Have a great one. Bye. 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 Stav, Abby, and Matt, the B105 Breakfast Show.